free. free. Download, Download Friday. Friday. Has, Has returned. Crab Tendo. So what's going on guys? So we're doing free download Friday yet again, and it's gonna be a double header here. I'm gonna talk about two different things, but what we're gonna talk about first, the studio rack here, and it's by Ways Audio. The link will be in the description box of where you can download it, of course. It says get it free, so it is free, guys. Calm me down. And I will be doing a how to load presets into Wave plugins tutorial as well, so uh, don't trip. But anyways, so it's a studio rack and it, lets, and it helps you organize all of your waste plugins just in case you have a DAW where it's too difficult for you to find all your waste plugins and all that. It does a great job of it. Of course, I already have tried it out uh, prior to this, but I don't know how all of it works, but you know, it's compatible with most native dolls as I read <laughs> read this or whatnot. And if Rich is Pro Tools, they, mm, nobody on here uses Pro Tools. <laughs> but uh, compatible with waves and third-party plugins now yada 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 you can read that it'll be in the description for you to read uh, also there's a manual and I have an Ableton and the reason why I'm using Ableton in this is this is Ableton does some really crazy stuff with uh, VST plugins <laughs> it does give you proper levels uh, within this input and output display because you'll see that when I play the example here and here's an example track right now One point seven nine, and then one point seven. Of course, that's that's pretty close. But I have seen some instances where, uh, it, within your DAW, you get dramatic spikes, and this does a good job of giving you precise numbers. Other than that, of course, here how you add plugins or whatnot. I'm gonna go ahead and add a plugin right here, uh, so you can see the plugin list right here. You see, you have all of your dynamic plugins organized in one area right here. You also have your EQs, or uh, whatnot. Then you have your reverb and all of your available uh, other things that you can. I don't know how you put like in uh, put in your plugins or whatnot. So if you have experience with a studio uh, rack, I, it would be greatly appreciated if you hit in the, hit me up in the comment section so I can go ahead and organize that. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull up I am Pusher because I definitely need some soft clipping on this track or whatnot. Just to, it, it will help with like some of the decency of this mix right now. So it tells you that you know on input that you're still peaking or whatnot, but of course it tells you that you're at uh, point one as far as the saw clipping goes. So I already know I just gotta roll some stuff down. So I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, push it all the way back up, of course, because you know what everybody likes their mixes loud and slappy and clipping. Yeah, so I have it on, again, my master chain. I have it on my master bus. And, you know, I could do other things, of course, you know, just add like another plugin, maybe Dynamics or something like that. The F6, uh, which is something I've been using a lot here. F6 with uh, more information here. You know, it's pretty good. You know, you can assign different controls if you want to do like micros or whatnot. Uh, again, you know, I don't have much experience with it. It changed like if you have something in setup A or setup B, you can do that. You know, of course, you can if you do a couple of EQs that may not work for you or whatnot. And, you know, I'm just going to do something real, real random. This, is, this isn't what what is good for the track. But if you do that, you know, if you go set up B or have you have it like that. So I also have a question, of course, obviously, uh, the link will be in the description box so you can do this. And that is rank your favorite EQ plugins. And, you know, they're asking this question, of course, over there at ways.com. And what is your favorite EQ happens? My my two favorite happen to be on top. It's good to know. <laughs> it's good to know that I'm not the only one here. And they're both leading or whatnot. If you do participate in this poll, there is something cool that's going to happen. It's under embargo right now, so I can't really talk about it. And I really don't know much about it. So definitely check out next Friday because I'm going to talk about a lot of stuff for free download Black Friday. And of course, you know, it just so y'all can see, I, I definitely like the, the SSL EQ. Uh, I use this on my drums. And then I use this either, I use this on anything. This is a dynamic EQ, and I haven't talked about dynamic EQs enough. But yeah, let me know in the comments section, guys, 
that's what it is baby